have the piece attributed to Callimachus, the grave stele of Hegeso, created in 410 BCE in Athens, Greece. This stele was erected from the Diplon Cemetery in Athens. We see the materials are painted marble. The stele is from the classical period of Grecian art. The relief is somewhat shallow, unlike the reliefs of Egyptian sculpture. This piece is very naturalistic in style. The body is in proportion with common human features, and detail is very focused on the artifact. We see the clothing Hegesa wears is very compressing, and that it is worn on her body not tightly, but conforming like. This is common with the classical Grecian period of artwork. The similarities in height when Hegesa was seated was purposely constructed by Callimachus to demonstrate the hierarchy between the servant and Hegeso, as well as the amount of space she takes up on the stele compared to the servant. We see Hegeso is wearing a more elaborate wardrobe compared to the servant who only has a single piece of clothing draped around over her. As you can see, the great stele of Hegeso depicts a woman fully grown and showing no signs of youth or immaturity. Her hair is up in a saccade, similar to the Grecian goddess Aphrodite. Hegeso is seen seated with her feet propped up on a stool in front of a slave girl or a servant of some kind. She picks up jewelry such as a necklace that would have been present at some point. The paint from the necklace has been worn away. The jewelry is a status symbol of the wealth in the time period, perhaps depicting a dowry of some sort. Hegesa was idealized this way to make her seem of greater importance or in some sort of godlike status. Women of this time were not considered citizens of Athens and were only defined by their family, even then mostly being seen by who their husbands were. Women were solely responsible for tombs and social rules during this time. This fact makes it abnormal for Hegeso to be in a normal and a more domestic setting with pillars around her and in a chair. In the ancient Mediterranean, where the sculpture originated, steles had multiple purposes. Steles were formed for funerary purposes, to record laws and degrees, honor rules, or define territory. The artist has been regarded as the creator of this monument, is known as Callimachus. He is regarded as the originator of Corinth capital and was highly respected of his work. This artwork is meant to make the viewer, viewer feel lower than the woman depicted and look up to her as a wealthy, respected figure. The stele commem commemorated Hegeso with her beauty and economic status. The grave stele of Hegesa would be placed over the burial site of her. This is compared to modern grave markers you would see in a cemetery. There is a process the Greeks practice to properly bury the deceased, especially women. That consists of three parts. We have the prothesis, which lays the body out, the euchphora, which is a funeral procession, and the cremation of the body. Unlike Egyptian culture, the Greeks did not bury the dead with a variety of possessions. However, the Greek women would bring offerings to the graves like small cakes. The grave stele of Hegeso accentuates the feeling of a somber mourning but quiet celebration of the life of Hegeso. She and her father were a wealthy family who were able to afford this artwork of such magnitude and size. There is an, an inscription on the stele at the bottom that identifies Hegeso and the perfection of her likeness and her peak image carved into the stele. The relief style is related to the Parthenon frieze and its style and depth of relief. The shapes constructed in the both of the stones convey a very soft, detailed seam. The styles of the complex clothing that we see on Hegeso are worn by the individuals present in the portion of the Parthenon frieze. Thank you for watching Torah History with us today. We hope you enjoy the rest of your day.